Super. Hey guys, it's DJ Slope here from Slope's Game Room and it's time for the fifth and final, until they send me more, Brave Wave uh, record, not really unboxing because I've already unboxed them, but uh, yeah, this one's the uh, the most obscure of the ones that I've done for Brave Wave, uh, but they were kind enough to send them to me and I do want to look at them because they're these are the sort of things that I really like to collect. So ha have a gander to these. We've got two LPs. You know what they are because you've looked at the title card. Here we go. So, Dugo, Duggo, whatever, and Republic Kickstarter. <gasps> not for this channel, surely. No, this is actually a successful kick, sc <laughs> kick scammer, not a kick scammer, Kickstarter. Um, we'll have a look at that one in a moment because this is the one that I'm very, very, very interested in. So, looking on their website, because I don't want to get any of the information wrong here. Let's have a look, let's have a look. So, Duggo, Dugo, whatever you want to say, however you say it, I'm probably saying it wrong, but is the alias of Bayonetta and Metal Gear Solid 4's co-composer, that guy, uh, 10 years in the making and with an international assembly of artists, guitar players, violin violinists, photographers, Oh, how cool is this? This is really, really cool. Uh, first of all, I appreciate the entire audience of Dugo for supporting me. Dugo is my life. Uh, guys, this is Bayonetta and Metal Gear Solid 4. Sold. Absolutely sold. I'm a big fan of the Bayonetta games. Never played Metal Gear Solid, but do love the soundtracks. Uh, I know I need to fix that. They're on the top of my to play one day pile, but very, very excited to hear this. There will be music playing now, but there'll be more music playing at the end and I'll put some, uh, put them up on the vertical record player for you guys to check them out. I have absolutely no idea what the vinyl is going to be like, so we'll get it straight open. Oh, interestingly enough, have a look at this, have a look. So, there's only a couple of tracks per, uh, per side, it's a double LP, and this is number 105 of 300. Talk about limited! How cool is that? Um, so I'm guessing the tracks are very, very long. We will see, we will see. Oh, I'm so excited to check this one out. Let's have a look. Ugh. So this is... It's obviously very different than their normal releases, but let's have a look. Okay. It's all part of the photography that they've done, obviously. Um, yeah, there you go. There we go, got a nice booklet as usual with Brave Wave releases. Here we go, what's this say? First of all, I appreciate the entire audience of Dugo Duggo uh, for supporting me. Duggo is my life's work. I think many of the people who purchased this album are video game music fans and you can indeed find some in affinity between my work for Duggo and my compositions for video games. So this is cool, this is cool. A bit of a love letter to the people that like the music that he does, obviously. So uh, yeah, got some nice imagery. I imagine it will complement the music quite well. Um, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So let's actually have a look at the LPs. They may be just black, I don't know. Um, it seems like a very limited release. And yes, they are indeed uh, black LPs. Here you go, got that one there. You get yet again with that uh, photography. And side A, there we go. And I'm gonna say that the other LP is probably going to be exactly the same as well. I'll put that that side. Here we go, just make sure they've got a download of the album in there. Oh wow, that's actually something a little bit extra, what's this? Whoa, limited edition, certificate of authentic, uh, authentic, authenticity. This certificate warrants uh, the, and guarantees that this is an official limited edition vinyl pressing of mm, Linguro Franco by Dugo, the solo project of, again, that name there. Uh, only 300 copies of this signed edition exist. <laughs> really, really cool. And uh, yeah, that is signed. <laughs> okay, pretty fucking cool. That was 109, not 105. It was obviously written a bit differently on the back. Um, yeah, there you go. That's pretty awesome. Um, Really exciting, and yeah, yeah, side C and D are obviously going to be black as well, but I think it fits the style of it, doesn't it? Here you go. Um, I'm very excited to be listening to that. Uh, there'll, there'll be links 
down below for you to go check out uh, the store and I think you'll be able to listen to some samples of the music as well. Very excited to listen to that. Now, this one, moving straight on to Republic, the very last Brave Wave record I have to unbox, or to show you guys at least. Um, so this was a Kickstarter that was successful as far as I believe. Um, and I have had a list, when I got told I was gonna get sent these, this is one of the ones I wasn't too sure. Oh, you're sending me that, okay. I had a listen, like, this is pretty cool music. I'll let, uh, there'll obviously be stuff playing now and I'll put some stuff up at the end when I give you guys some close-ups as usual. Uh, let's have a gander at this one, let's have a look. So, really, really, really nice artwork. I'm trying to see if it's, if it's a really, you, you can always see when an image is blown up, but that actually looks really, really good. That looks really nice. And playing on the back with the tracks, the whole soundtrack. Okay, so this is, again, I oh know this is a single LP, this is a single LP, but as usual with Brave Wave, you've got a nice hefty book. And what's that in there? Download code for the LP. Yep, 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 that's okay. So let's have a look at the booklet itself. Ah, oh, wow. I remember seeing this. Absolutely. I'll, I'll give you guys some close-ups, but uh, you got a nice forward there by Ryan Payton. I'm assuming he's probably something to do with the game, but he made it or something. Uh, oh, wow. What is this? What is this? So, from what I can tell, every track has information. Now, let me have a look at the back of this. Okay, yeah, this is really cool. So every, um, it looks like all of the tracks on the tr on, on the LP actually have little descriptions around them. I, I think that's the case. Maybe not. Maybe they're just talking about different parts. <laughs> Guys, this is really, really nice. I'm not really showing you, am I? They're, they're just really nice little art books. They look beautiful. Again, I'm going to show you some close-ups. You'll be able to see just how crystal clear this artwork is. Guys, it's so good. Beautiful, beautiful, and uh, there's your team on the back, absolutely. Cool guys, this is so awesome, and let's have a look at the vinyls themselves. Oh, the vinyl themselves is a single one, again a gatefold though. And this one is to a black LP. There you go, I won't get it out, you can see. But there you go guys, Brave Wave, thank you so much for sending me all of these records. Uh, please, if you guys want to check out the company, um, I mean, it, honestly, it looks like a really cool company to collect records for. I, I pretty much have them all, but I'm going to be getting that Street Fighter 2, definitely, uh, when, it, when it comes back. There'll be links down below of all of the uh, LPs that they've... Um, that they've released. Uh, very nice, cool, unique company putting a nice spin on it with those booklets. Uh, very, very excited to be playing these LPs. Guys, this is, I'm just gonna get straight into playing that for you, getting a nice close up. So this is DJ Slope signing out and hopefully I'll see you all next time.